absentee ballots are available for people who won't be able to make it in to vote on November 3rd. I really don't trust the mail. Boonville resident Carol Gamble said she won't be casting an absentee ballot but will vote in person on November 3rd. Voter fraud and things like that, I want to be there in person to tell them who I want to vote for. Whether you have a trip out of town or a disability, people use absentee ballots to make sure they get a chance to vote. Prentice County Circuit Clerk Mike Kelly said the first day of absentee voting has been busy. And I think we'll have more absentees possibly than normal, but I still think that the majority, vast majority of people will go to polls and vote. Kelly explained briefly how the absentee ballot process works. We've had several inquiries. People can call and request a ballot. They can also stop by. They have to give a legitimate reason for why they need an absentee ballot. One man at the Prince County Circuit Clerk's Office said he is a truck driver and he needed one because he would not be in town on November 3rd. We do not hand ballots out, of course. We mail ballots to those that call and request them to uh, disabled and over 65 within the county. He added some also go outside the county by mail to people such as college students and people temporarily living outside the county. Kelly encouraged people not to procrastinate. If you know you're going to be out of town or whatever that reason might be that you need to cast an absentee ballot, come in sometime and before the very end because usually there's a rush toward the end. The deadline to register to vote is on October 3rd at noon and the deadline for people to come into the office to cast an absentee vote is on Halloween October 31st at 5 p.m. In Tupelo, Bronson Woodruff, WTBA 9 News.